Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. We're constantly being asked, what do you do with all those hot peppers you grow? Well, so far you've watched us make hot sauces and paste, freeze them, and dehydrate them. We've shown you how our friends Peter and Carmen use them in pickles, salsas, and jams. And of course, you've seen me eat them. Today, we're going to smoke them on the grill. The smoky taste, combined with searing heat, pairs well with many foods, including pizza, tacos, chili, and pasta, just to name a few. Would you like to see how we do it? Let's get started. Smoking hot peppers is an easy process. We smoke both red and green peppers. It's a great way to use the green super hot peppers that didn't ripen at the end of the season. That unripe taste that turns some people off gets transformed into a tangy, smoky taste. Let's quickly cover the basics, then get ready to dance to my new funky song called Smoked and Hot. First, soak your wood for about 30 minutes. For some batches, we use these beautiful chunks of plum wood. For other batches, we use mesquite chips. While the wood is soaking, slice the peppers in half and arrange them on a metal tray. Put the soaked wood in a foil pan under the grate. Preheat the grill. We're only using the burner under the wood. Then place the tray of peppers on the opposite side. The secret of smoking is indirect heat. We try and keep the temperature at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also experiment with adding herbs like sage. Be sure to check on the progress often turning the tray hourly, and keep a spray bottle handy, because the wood can dry out and catch on fire. They'll be smoked, dry, and ready to enjoy in about four to six hours. Stay tuned after the song, because we're going to show you an unbelievably easy method for coarse grinding we learned from fellow YouTube creator Peter Stanley.
Hope that brought the funk. Now, as promised, here's Peter Stanley's easy method for coarse grinding dried and smoked peppers. Just put some peppers in a Ziploc bag, seal it, then smoosh them until you're happy with the consistency. Only takes a few seconds. Be sure and watch Peter's video because he's also got a cool way to store the ground pepper in tubes. We'll have a link to that video at the end of this episode and also in the video description. Here's the finished product, a whole lot easier than using a mortar and pestle. Peter Stanley, also known as Pepper Dactyl, shares a wealth of info about growing and using peppers on his channel. Please check him out. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Smoking is yet another way we enjoy hot peppers all year round. Of course, homemade is always the best, but if you don't have the time or inclination to smoke them yourself, we've posted a link in the description to a variety of smoked pepper blends you can purchase on Amazon. Follow our daily updates on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. For 7 Pot Club, I'm Rob.